Hi, Steve and Caleb with Brownells with another edition of Smith Busters. Caleb, what do you got for us today? Well, today uh, we are going to talk about the myth that if there is something wrong when you check the headspace on your AR-15, that there's something you can do about it. Oh, that's a myth. It's, I okay. mean, kind of. There, there is something you can do about it. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, we sell all kinds of gauges and reamers and stuff. Uh, well, I mean, for the average, you know, right. the average Joe, there's something you can do about it. Okay. You can go well, down to the post office and get a shipping label. The uh, AR-15 system is kind of unique. With that barrel extension, you're kind of just stuck with the headspace you have. Yeah. Unless you're able to take that extension off, set the barrel back. This is assuming the headspace is too long. Do one full revolution. Boy, that screws up your gas tube and all kinds of stuff. Yes. I don't know. Yes. So I you think would, you're better off ret returning the barrel. You would have to, and just kind of thinking out loud here, you would have to... So this is, this is your AR-15 barrel here. This is the barrel extension Steve is talking about. This is a separate piece from your barrel. Right. And then this is a pin that goes into the top that holds it on and it's threaded on. So you would, you know, assuming your your headspace is too long, you know, you would have to drill that pin out, unscrew the extension, take it off, then you're just left with your threads and then your, you know, threaded chamber and your barrel. And then what you would have to do is just remove material so that your barrel extension would now index. This is getting way too complicated. Yeah, it would index so that your pin would now still be vertical with where your gas port's drilled. And then you would have to recut your chamber deeper. It would be a whole thing. If you paid good money for a commercial barrel to build your AR-15 and it doesn't head space right, you should return it. Let me just say, the labor in what I just explained was more than what you paid for your barrel, most likely. Yeah, yeah. So now. I had a barrel that was uh, too short on the headspace one time, and I just took a 223 reamer, a couple of turns, and I was there. I mean, we were talking like a thousandth or two of an inch, so that it wasn't much at all. Yeah, that's easy to do if your barrel's not chrome, chrome lined, lined or nitrided. Yeah. yeah. If it's chrome lined or nitrided, forget that. That's not happening. Nope. Yeah, you know, this was a match barrel where they the, the chamber was just a little too match. It was tight. Yeah. So uh, that's really the only option there. Uh, but then again, the cost of reamers, reamers aren't cheap. Right. That's, right. Not, that's not something you buy as a quick fix. Even renting a reamer for that, um, you're better off just getting it right the first time. Yeah. So, I mean. Especially if you got the barrel from us, it's nice and easy. You just return the old one, we give you a new one. Yep, it's just that simple. So that's the way to go about it, um, either Changing out your bolt carrier group or barrel, chances are it's most likely going to be the barrel, and go from there. So to say that, I don't want to say the myth is busted, because then I'd be saying that there's nothing you can do about it, even though, because there's technically something you can do about it, Right. even though it's not worth doing. So let, let me rephrase this myth here. Is it worth fixing the headspace if the headspace on the AR-15, you know what I'm going to say the rest of it. No, it's not worth it. Busted. Yeah. Send the barrel back, get a new one. Send it back. If you disagree, if you have a fix for this, let us know in the comments. We'd like to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with another edition of Smith Busters.